Hey everyone. I'm Alfred. And let me extremely welcome you back to Morrowind. Uh, for kind of the last time, but not really. But yes, we have made all the way to the second DLC. I've got a new haircut. In Morrowind, I was blonde. In uh, Mornhold, I was green-haired. And now, here I am, purple-haired and back in Morrowind. So yes, we're doing the last DLC, Blood Moon. You know, like those guys? They kit you out pretty good, huh? Now maybe that's stealing, but you could easily drop down here and get stuff done from down there and then just climb back up. You may speak. Sorry, Duck Huff. Can't talk right now. Waiting for an escort to Raven Rock. Go see Carnus Amegius. I'm listening. So, where we are is Soul's Time. It's this thing. I keep referencing it, but in case you've forgotten, it's an island equidistant from Morrowind and Skyrim. And at some point, it was jointly owned by both of them. However, Skyrim later gave it to Morrowind uh, completely. It is currently in joint ownership, which is one of the really cool things about it. Because you get, you know, we're playing Morrowind, of course. What's this about? Wait, what did I do? Dice, scoundrel. I guess I'm loading that safe. You wish to speak? Anywho, so... Yeah, we're here in... So yeah, sorry. Point of order. This game has appeared in Skyrim and Morrowind. This island. So it is something that you get to after seeing nothing but Dark Elves, and something you get to after seeing nothing but Nords, in both cases. So in Morrowind, I'm even playing a Dark Elf, and one might, you know, play a Nord in Skyrim, and get the same general vibe going on there. Because, conceivably, that's what would happen. Oh yes, brigands. This brigands resurrect three times. Anyway, um... Yeah, Horker. way uglier here. Hello, pal. So yeah, it's an interesting thing where you get to see this thing in different perspectives. You get to see it before and after Red Mountain and the Death of the Gods and the Blight and all that shit. Um, here or in the Skyrim version of this DLC. You get to see it from a post Dark Elf point of view and from a po uh, from a post Dark Elf point of view and from a post Nord point of view. Um and it's something really cool cuz in Skyrim cuz in this game you get what is essentially a diet version of the Nords. You get the, the skull, I think they're called. The 
and the skull are cool. And of course, you also get to see them again in the Skyrim DLC. But you also get to see just general Dark Elves. And so it's something that I've always really loved about this DLC. When playing it as Skyrim, you get essentially like a Dark Elf theme park. You get a a small, easily palatable view of this game as the Dark Elves would. But in this game, you get a view of it as as Nordswood. So it's just a really cool thing. Because like it's not like we get to go to the Shivering Isles ever again. Unless you do in what's it called? The Elder Scrolls Online, but I've not dimped with that at all. I played a little bit of it, enough to, like, run to Vivek City. Uh, and I, I really think that that was it. I didn't find myself with much patience for the Elder Scrolls Online. The reason that World of Warcraft, and granted, World of Warcraft is made very uncomfortable by uh, Blizzard's various crimes now. But the reason that World of Warcraft works is because Warcraft was always a game where you can control an army. And so having an MMO where you have raid bosses, you're just a guy in an army, you know? When you have 50 players, or one player controlling 50 units, you still have the vibe of the army. But digging in and feeling, oh shit, here I am, it's cool. Final Fantasy XIV is currently battling with this. You know, it's weird that everyone on the server is a chosen one, but when you have everyone in a party, then it's like, well, we're just all members of a Final Fantasy party in the grand tradition, as you would anyway, you know? Um, but with, like, KOTOR, or TOR even, you know, the Old Republic, the Star Wars MMO, it doesn't feel cool. Star Wars has always been about the chosen one. Anakin is the chosen one. Luke is the chosen one. Rey is here as well, I guess. Kylo Ren is the chosen one and is thrown in the garbage. And yes, I know that there are Star Wars things besides the movies, but Star Wars would be nothing without the movies. And so it is the, the, the frame that everyone is judged through. Let's hear it. Go see Captain Carius. His chambers at the fort. And through the general quarters to the south staircase on the third floor are his chambers. If you're about the colony, talk to Carnius. He's in the cold shrine. I gotta say, yeah. I didn't miss fucking around with people's directions. Yes. What can this humble priest do for you? That's something I uh, didn't need. Do you have something to say, Dumner? I don't think anything has sapped my attributes, but worth a shot. Yes. But yeah, I'm not sure at all what my next big RPG is going to be. I'm going to be playing more Darkest Dungeon soon. Um, is this the East Empire Company? I'm an important man, I'll have you know, and I have no time for anything other than business. What is it? All right, just double checking there. East Empire Company? Yes, I'm the local factor. Not that it means much at this point. Our operations are getting underway, and we're shorthanded. Could you use some help? Do you wish to join? Yes, hire me. All right. So, when you're ready for an assignment. First of all, workers have arrived. Uh, I need to get to the mining site. Our workers have arrived and need to get to the mining site. None of them are skilled with a blade, so I'd like you to escort them. They know the way. You have to make sure they arrive safely. Check with Falco Galenus. Oh, interesting. He'll give you further instructions. Speak to Gidar. He's down by the dock. So I just did some checking. 
this is not the main quest. It's in fact a side quest, but it's a huge side quest and it's most of what you get to do. And it's something I was actually looking forward to. Um, the town of Raven Rock, I don't even know if it exists yet, but it would be around here. You the escort? Ready to go. We all voted, decided you take the lead. We're not fond of the woods, not saying we're cowards, mind you. We felt you'd be better leading the way. I can mark the spot on the map so you know which way to head. Lead on. All right. So yeah, Raven Rock, as it stands, is uh, a couple of fucking shacks. Whereas... When you get there in Skyrim, or in Skyrim's DLC specifically, but in the Elder Scrolls V when you get there, it is a bustling hub and the biggest place of import, export, commerce, trade, and discussion on Solstheim. So yes, it is, that's cool to me because you build it in these side quests. It is something the Reverend just does and that's great. Yep, fall over, thank you. Got more chunk tusks down here. Oh, Lord. The thing about Spriggans, because they have that, like, ability to just shrug, shrug off damage, means that at minimum they still take three hits to kill no matter where you're at. Don't touch him. Everyone good here? Raven Rock, eh? But yeah, um... So I, I... You know, sort of know a lot of things about this. So, Carney has talked you into joining this little adventure. I'll be managing the side from here and answering Old Dick Carnius, since you're here, I have an assignment for you. Uh, you can finish the test I was working on before you got here. Some of the workers have arrived. I need to stay here and supervise. Take this ebony ore and find four more like it. We need some proof for the investors the venture is worth it, and the ore should do nicely. Uh, there's a bunch of ebony ore in the area, which is why we chose this site. Okay. Good, I've got what he said written down. See, so yeah, that's one thing about Raven Rock. It is the Ebony Mines. As I've mentioned, Morrowind is already rife with Ebony Mines because the source of it may or may not be the blood of Lorcan, and the heart of it was contained originally here. So, of course, we're going to see a lot of Ebony Mines. This is one a little far from the source, I suppose, but should not be much matter. That was easy, you're right. Is it good enough? All right. rather simple I should say um so yeah uh, I'm pretty juiced to be playing this 
obviously I got into Skyrim because I was sold by the trailer. And yes, for those who didn't know, I'm a Sky Baby. My first Elder Scrolls game was, in fact, Skyrim. Because uh, I started playing, like, console video games the same year Oblivion came out. Maybe even a year after. Suffice it to say, uh, console gaming was a little out of my reach for a bit. And to get into it would be a little outside of my purview. To get into Oblivion, that is. So, a couple years later when uh, Scrim came out, I was obviously completely ready to... Jesus. Just get on into it. Go. They can't chase me through water, it's the rule. It's so fucking funny. Damn, I just gotta head straight south. Oh yeah, the Reeklings, these guys. So anyway, obviously I love Skyrim. And when um, several months later the DLCs came out, my dad bought them day one because he also fucking loved Skyrim. Uh, so when the Dragonborn DLC came out, we obviously got that pretty quickly, pretty much day one. Um, and I was so drawn into all the cool dark elf stuff. It's all just the the weirdest and coolest in the best way, and I love I I loved every second of it. It was all so great. The weird fusion of cultures on the island just made it really really fun. It was just fuck. Dragonborn DLC is so goddamn good. Suffice it to say. So, um, by this point I had, you know, pretty open and shut learned that what I was playing was Morrowind Light. Though, had I started playing it instead in, you have the ore, he could accomplish that by himself, could he? No matter, the investor is waiting for this, so hand it over. Here's payment for the job. Don't have any other work right now. Come back and see me in about three days. This construction should be underway, and there'll be more for you to do. And take the stock certificate. It's a way of, to offset the cost of establishing and developing the colony. Each employee is issued a certificate that is value based on how well it's performing. If you'd like to exchange it for money, it can be arranged. Without me, it all falls to pieces. Three days, huh? I guess we'll be back. In three days. Where is Captain Carius? What's this about? Thanks for nothing. Yes. What can this humble bring? Uh, yada 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 yada. Okay. Same shit I got last time. Whatever. So what do you want? Uh, anyway, so yeah, I really liked everything that I saw. Yes. So. Uh. Morrowind runs on almost anything. So obviously. It could run on even my piece of shit PC. Oh yeah, this is great. Get him, guys. Hey, who are you? Word of advice from one wanderer to another. Keep your eyes open and wits about you. There's more than bears and wolves roaming the island. If you try to f find yourself face to face with the berserkers or freeze hags. 
Sheath your blade and get to running. My kinfolk at Thirsk will take you in. Thank you, Reinhardt Redspear. Be careful out here in the wild, friend. There's more roaming about than just wolves. There's Kmeet Hall. That's a big side quest in... Uh, guys, you're not... Good old Bristlebacks. Oh, you got her. Cool. Neat meat. General quarters to the south staircase. Up the what? south staircase. Would it be so bad Any if I had time. a quest marker, guys? Let's hear it. I'm going nuts in this place. I'm going to be glad that I've uh, beaten all three of the big spokes of the uh, main quest, I guess. Oh, yeah, apparently this DLC is a lot longer than the other one. Why don't you have a helmet? Yes. Yes. Weird. I wonder if you could just like sprint straight here, you know? The thing about the DLC is that they have to make sure that people can start it. So it's probably got to be pretty easy to get to said DLC. So I wonder how early you could actually get to said DLC. And just start doing work. Yes. Go ahead, straight. Am I on the third fucking floor or not, dude? Upper level. Upper doesn't really tell me anything. Ground floor. General quarters. Southmost stairwell? This isn't general quarters anymore. Oh god, I'm out of practice for for Morrowind, I mean. I'm unsurprised that didn't lead anywhere. Anytime you're ready. All right, general quarters, all the way up the south staircase, on the third floor are his chambers. General quarters. Yes. This should be south, right? Any time now. Or is this north? And for whatever reason, the other one is south because it's more south, but it doesn't actually face south. Uh, if I remember correctly, the guy that I'm looking for, a hard man to find, as we mentioned, is uh, a boss in Skyrim. There's like a necromantic, like, dead guy version of him. What can I do for you? I I'm Captain Falks Carius, commander of Frostmouth. For an Imperial Ford, obviously. My soldiers have the ability to be among the best in all the Empire. The island of Solsheim is not the easiest, and it makes them edgy. As I said, this is a difficult post. They're separated from their families and forced to live in harsh conditions. These men were sent to their, this island as punishment for past offense. They're not the best of soldiers yet. Still, until recently, they had performed their duties, but I've noticed some disturbing trends. They've been restless, complaining more than usual. They've been lackadaisical in the performance of their duties. 
I sense a great unease among them, and morale has been low. Very low, and it's not been normal. My instinct tells me that there is one among my troops who is fanning the fires of this discontent, and I wish to know who it is. They will never let me know who the culprit is, as their commanding officer. I must regretfully keep some distance between the fine soldiers and myself. They may be willing to speak with you, though. See if you can't gain their trust. If you learn anything, report to me. All right. Is that booze I smell on you? Smells like brandy to me. I'd know the smell anywhere. How about giving a thirsty soldier a little pick-me-up? Yeah, there you go. Uh, some fine brandy. Good stuff. Thanks, friend. Hasn't been the same around here since it became a dry fort. Ridiculous, I tell you. That's right. No liquor is allowed at Fort Frostmouth. Uh, Captain's orders, I guess. Seems odd coming from him. Carey seemed like a fair guy as long as we carried out our duties. And I guess we, he figured we weren't up to his standards, so he cut us off. Since then, everyone's been in a foul mood. If you care to talk, I would consider it um, a Cool, just adjusting that. J. Apparently, all alcohol is forbidden. Coolio. Uh, I came here with booze. I figured it would be useful. Let's hear it. Where's the guy? Team. I literally just looked away for a second. If you care to talk, I would. Oh Lord. A privilege. My sense of direction is at risk. I never imagined the lack of alcohol. I imagined the lack of alcohol might have some effects on the morale, but I didn't ever actually ban it. I didn't even care about the alcohol. It was the priest, Antonius Nuncius, who was worried about the effect it was having on the men. I disagreed, but the question became moot. Our shipment stopped coming in months ago. Speak with the soldiers a bit more and see if we can find out the source of this discontent. Uh, Antonius is one of the priests here. Not a bad one. He's a bright enough fellow if only he'd apply himself a bit more. Uh, chort. Okay. Here you might be able to get hold of some booze. I could, uh, I could use a bit. Uh, I heard from Antonius Nuncius that the captain had placed a ban on al all alcohol and there was none to be found. The priest? He's not bad, I guess, for a priest. You'll find him at the occult shrine at the fort. He keeps the office upstairs in the armory. Could be in either place. Seems to understand the soldiers pretty well. He told me the other day it seemed unfair the captain had caught us off from the, uh, the drink. He figures it's uh, one of our few pleasures on the dung heap of the island. Well, it's really funny you say that, because... Apparently it was his idea. If you care to talk, I would consider it a privilege. Okay. His office is above the armory, you say? Any time now. Well, why don't we go see if he's in, huh? Oh yeah, so my um my camera's up higher now. I don't know if that's uh like good or not. I'm giving it a shot though. Yes. I got some booze. Little Goldilocks fort there. Diary of Berenzia. Let's see if I've got anything here. Guess we're doing it the old-fashioned way, huh? A 
I'm thinking we might be here a while. Especially if I am not using the right thing. Oh, I can't be picked. Hey, you've got some booze. The strange lock on this closet can't be opened without the key. Goofy. If you care to talk, I would consider it a privilege. He did get into his, uh... Maybe I can wait here. Is that just the Eye of Horus, by the way? Go ahead, stranger. Seems like a very open and shut Eye of Horus. Dude. That's so fucking not cool. Okay, let's see. May as well save over the thing that says the DLC has been started. Because I'm starting a new DLC. Hey, hey guys. Uh, I'm he. I know, the soldiers lead a difficult existence on the island. It's cold, wet, dangerous, and far from home. They're not at all luxuries. It's just damned awful. Fort. Odd that the captain would ban liquor for his troops. There's no understanding some people. Uh, he tells me he never banned it. I told you that, did he? I guess he never did. The ship and stopped driving. What's to be done about that? Well, I have no idea why. I'm a simple priest forced to sue these pathetic soldiers on this frozen excuse for an island. It's not my concern why uh, the alcohol hasn't arrived. You have no proof of anything I've done wrong. Stop asking me these questions. He's also carrying it on him. What a piece of shit. Alright. It's above the armory. What's the point of having a lock level if you can't break into it anyway? None but booze. That's weird. What's this about? I hate being in Imperial buildings, dude. If I can be of any assistance. They're not like dreadfully claustrophobic or anything. But they are a real pain in the ass to get around. It'll say his office, right? I just one of my priests has been killed. I can't worry about a small room. <laughs> oh, I feel like I've missed something. I'm gonna load that. I'm also going to Delete a bunch of save games. This is some good times here. Come on, let's get it back on a one page here.
All right. Yes. All right, this way. Man. So, um, typically always I have like an RPG running on the channel and I really have no idea what I'm going to do when it's done. If there's reason to suspect booze. Oh, I'm talking in circles here. Okay. Sorry, I just cut out a little bit of my travel time. I suspected that this might be the case. And a check of the wiki tells me I'm right. I assumed that you could find a key up here somewhere. God, that's such a bastard. Do I have anything that gives me telekinesis? Bada bing, bada boom. I have opened it. All right, the wiki now tells me to go to him. Any time now. Our little criminal here. I see I stand in good You company. can't do this. What can I do for you? All right. We're back. You've been in my desk. My desk, you've been in there. Why, that's an outrage. Stolen liquor. I have no idea. All right. Perhaps I have been hiding the alcohol. It was for their own good. And I had hoped the soldiers got fed up and revolted to be able to justify going home to my superiors. You're a dumb piece of shit. I'm finished. I'll never leave the island now, at least not alive. Curious without my head. I hope you're happy, Glinda Petchblend. You're goddamn right I am. Yes? What can I... <laughs> uh... What in God's name are they talking about? You see, has he's started this whole thing because he wanted to go home? The twit? I could have had him reassigned if he just asked me. Now, though, I think he might do his best work here, saving the souls of my men. With a new abundance of liquor at the fort, someone will have to deliver to their salvation. Thank you for your help, Glenda Pitchblend. And take these. There are diseases on this island that we have never encountered before. And the weapon may serve you well. Uh, for more fort business. Not all my soldiers here are trustworthy. Many were sent to this fort in lieu of Ebonart's dungeons. I fear a criminal element has shown itself on Fort Frostmith. I believe there are weapons being smuggled out of here and sold on Vardenfell. 
Notice the store of weapons in the armor has been decreasing. I know there is no official reason for it. My only guess is someone is smuggling them off of Solstein to be sold in Vardenfell. I want you to uncover this smuggling ring and I'll be provide you with help. Work with two of my soldiers at the case. Two available, and they're two of the best. Sign us Lucius and Gaia Artoria. You'll find Lucius in the general quarters and Artoria in the general quarters, upper level. Speak with them and decide which will be your companion. When you have unearthed a smuggling ring, report to me. I leave you how to deal with the smugglers to your own discretion. Hello there. How are you? Um, but, uh, I'd like you to work with me. So I don't have to run those other errands Kairos had to do. Ready for some action. Go ahead, stranger. Oh god. Now to armory. I imagine we're gonna find a clue in here. It's a little weird, I must say. Um, I don't know anything about that. Not that I tell you if I did. But I heard you're working with Artori. You might want to speak with Zeno Faustus in the fort. He knows things. You might find him in the armory. So what do you want? His name is Zeno Faustus. What is it you want? Like the guy from the paradox, and then the guy who enemies. You say. Firstly, the guy from the paradox about how motion is uh, doesn't exist. And then the guy who made a deal with the devil, the deal maker, that Zeno. Well, interesting. Not sure I should talk about that. I don't know you and I know I heard you were working with Artoria. She doesn't scare me a bit. Where did my... <laughs> Where'd she go? Oh, she got stuck on something. Any time now. What is it you want? I figure they're taking the weapons from here and bringing them somewhere else. Captain doesn't like it. I hope that helps. Someone else must know something. Let's crack some skulls. Okay. It's dumb that speech is the thing that determines... Determines this. Because, like, he's like, I don't believe that you could kill me. Die, scoundrel. There goes your, there goes your guy. Ow! You know? I, I really somehow doubt that. I just think it's dumb is all. Okay, here's the deal. I overheard some of the so soldiers talking about a place. The Gangdrin Caverns, northeast of the fort. Something about weapons being stashed there. I don't know more than that. Maybe you should check that place. If you find them, you have to kill them unless you can find some other arrangement. Oh, I, I am so ready to kill them. Northeast. Never eat. Okay. So that apparently the word news is based off of north, east, west, south. That's what it means. It doesn't have, like, it doesn't mean, like, the word itself apparently doesn't mean, like, information. It just came to mean that. Northeast of here. How far northeast exactly? Exactly. 
I must say, it's a little strange to me. Those don't look right. It's a little strange to be doing this sort of quest again. Because these are things that I did like 30 hours ago. Rock Spire at the north and the closest inlet. What I'm getting here is that you won't escape her that easily. Whatever. Frostlemane Barrow, huh? I love that this thing can be used as a torch. It's just plain damn useful. Granted, the lighting engine blows, but that's okay. Bone dog, you say? Bone wolf. This is Stalham. It's magical ice. It only forms inside ancient Nord barrows. Uh, the actual way that Stalham is made is kind of interesting. A hero has to die and then be frozen. Which is kind of interesting, honestly. But yeah, it doesn't show up in the Skyrim main game because, I don't know, they wanted to save in the DLC, despite the fact that there are more dead Nords in Skyrim than living ones. Like, how many fucking Draugr do you think you killed in Skyrim? There are billions and billions of driver. It's, suffice to say, ridiculous. Found the cave. What kind of sword is this I'm holding? That's a short blade. Oh, he's got a parallax, a paralyzing axe. Come on now. Come on now. How long is this fucking thing up? Hmm. Okay, they warned that there's some weird bugs in this quest, but I think it should be fine. Uh, apparently if you get her killed, the other one will kill you when you get back. Man, 
Ancient Nord Barrows, huh? I guess this is like the first real one we've been in. Because we probably would have been in nothing but with a Skyrim. Whatever you say. That's... Alright, I have no idea what happened to her. I think I might have hit her by mistake and it would have just annihilated her health. But who knows, honestly. Jackasses. Silver sword. It'll sell good. Let's do one of those, huh? So apparently it's possible to talk down the, the guy at the end here. I don't really care. I'm so in it to kill Empire dickheads. Get his ass. <laughs> awesome. Ooh, Nord Mead. All the smugglers have been killified. Perfect. She doesn't... Hey, did this thing always... Huh. Cool. I guess there's more dynamic shit that can happen in uh, the DLC, huh? Uh-huh. Where's the man, huh? Oh. Oh, talk to the guy you didn't travel with. Lucky me. It's weird going back and doing like this like weird baby level busy work stuff considering that I've already been named No Reverine and Horde Tour of everything and also like I own a house I'm practically in charge of Rhetorin Thank the God Thank the God you've returned there's a battle and someone must find the captain uh, We were caught by surprise in the aftermath we realized Carius was missing we searched thoroughly. There was no sign of his body. I don't think he's dead. But these wolf creatures, they're horrible and fierce. You must find him, Glenda Pitchblend. There's a Nord village on the north end of the island. They may know something. The Skull are nature worshippers, and they seem to have a special commune with the creatures of the island. If anyone knows what attack the fort, it'll be them. I'll mark it on your map. Earn their trust and find out what you can. You may have to remain with them for many days, but I believe you're up to the task. Take this. It was found in one of their tombs. Maybe they'll take it as a sign of good faith. Wow. Good place to start, right? This has been the first episode of Blood Moon. I hope everyone's enjoying it. I am excited to be playing Morrowind again. But really, moreover, I'm excited to be done with Morrowind. Not that I don't like the game, of course. The fact that we're on, what, part 40? Um, like 35, I think. Should tell you I do enjoy this game a great deal, obviously. 
Oh yeah, that reminds me. Um, the the day of upload is Skyrim day, which is why I'm playing Blood Moon because it's baby Skyrim. Uh, but yeah, like I of course love Morrowind, but I'm excited to be done with it and to like have a full fucking huge ass LP up on my channel where I did the Fighters Guild and I did the fucking Veteran Guard and I did the DLCs and the main quest and I just banged it all out and I'm very happy to do so. Um, that said, I obviously gotta finish this main quest. But when I do, I will have done this whole thing. Um, I have no idea how long this will take. This might be longer than the main uh, quest of the other DLC. So we'll see. But until then, I've been Alfred. This has been Morrowind's second DLC, Blood Moon. I'll see you guys later. Bye.